a deep candlestick analysis on Australian dollar US dollar in 2018. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Federico Saliti. Today I want to talk about candlestick patterns, but not just candlestick patterns, candlestick analysis in general. So I want to have a look at what happened to Australian dollar, US dollar in 2018, because I have identified this chart pattern, this down channel throughout the whole year, the whole 2018. I have already published the two videos about the action of the market with candlestick analysis. One was about uh, key levels and the other one was about uh, supply and demand studying the battle between buyers and sellers and they are very related to this video that I'm going to record right now that uh, is about this analysis about Australian dollar, US dollar. So I will put the links at the end of the video but I will also put the links in the description. I really recommend it to uh, watch those two also because I think that they're very related to this one but so today I want to talk about Australian dollar US dollar on the daily chart you can see that we have a very clear downtrend highlighted by this down channel but I want to study the action of the market since the very beginning so what I'm going to do is to zoom in and also have a clearer uh, uh, view of the market. So at the beginning, starting from the end of January 2018, we have the price going down, but we can't really understand that here we are in a downtrend because this is just the beginning of this down movement. So we can't understand here just uh, with this down movement that we are in a downtrend because even if we see the, the past action of the market, we were having a very strong up movement. So this might also be just a retracement on the market, not the beginning of a new downtrend. So at the beginning, we can't understand that we are in a down uh, in a new downtrend, but you can see that then the price goes up and then goes back here, then goes up again and goes down back here. And you can see one of the main feature of a downtrend that is lower highs and lower lows. And if you see here, we have the first swing high here, the second one here, the third one here, then we also have a fourth one here. You can see that all these wing highs on the markets are decreasing. So we have lower highs but also if we have a look at the lows the swing lows we have the first one here second one here third one here then we also have fourth one fifth one here but you can see that even here we are having lower lows on the market so we are in a downtrend by the by the definition of it but i will say that we are definitely in a new downtrend when we have on the market a new swing low that is this one that is below the the last significant swing low of the market that was this one so probably I will say that we are definitely in a downtrend after this swing low here even if we already had many opportunities to trade around this area because if we analyze this uh, this downtrend line so connecting this points probably we also have a fourth point there yeah we have a first one here second one here probably we already have a chance to trade this candle here that is also a bearish engulfing pattern if you had the chance to enroll in my course about candlesticks I think that you will trade this uh, signal 100% of times because this is a very nice uh, bearish engulfing pattern on a downtrend line so of course you were going to trade this pattern here but I just wanted to focus on the action after we are sure that we are in, an, in a downtrend because after this wing low we can be sure that we are in a downtrend so I want to analyze what happens on the market after this candle here that is also so a hammer that is going to push the price up and uh, the first thing that I want to analyze is the action of the market around this area here because of course we are in a downtrend that is uh, highlighted by this down channel so what's the action that we want to perform on the market with a chart pattern like this we want to trade at the top of this down channel so what we want to do is to try to find the good uh, good opportunities to sell this currency pair 
at the top of this down channel. So this is a first area where um, we can have a look at the signals to open a short position. Now we have this reaction by sellers. It is very close to the top of the channel. So this is a very good reaction by sellers. But of course, this doesn't form any candlestick pattern. So you can't recognize this as a candlestick pattern, but you can recognize that this is a very a good reaction by sellers. Just having a look at this kind of, of candle, because this is uh, it is not a Marubozu because we have uh, uh, very small shadows here, but uh, it has a very big uh, real body and it is red. So it is to be considered the first sign of sellers on the market. And uh, I don't think that this is enough to open a short position because uh, it is true that we are coming from a downtrend. We already analyzed the, the downtrend with this down channel. But if we focus on the recent action of the market, we are coming from a, a an action that is dominated by buyers. Here we have buyers on the market that are pushing the price higher. So I don't think that this small reaction by sellers is enough to open a short position after we had this strong action by buyers here. So I'm going to wait for a confirmation on the market. So then analyzing a candle by candle because what I want to say in this video is that okay candlestick patterns we have uh, we have um, bearish patterns like a shooting star for example or a bearish engulfing pattern okay but uh, the meaning of my course the candlestick course that I have on Udemy was to be able to analyze the markets with each candle not just candlestick patterns but even with candlesticks that do not form any kind of candlestick pattern so I hope I succeeded in that and so I hope that uh, all the students of my Udemy course that uh, are watching this video are able to understand what I mean by first sign of sellers on the market with this candle, even if this is not a candlestick pattern. Of course, this is not enough, as I said, so I'm going to study next candles. So here we have another red candle, but to be honest, I wouldn't consider this as a, a, a very good signal on the market because, okay, the price was going down, but here we have this uh, big lower shadow this means that the price was going down but buyers reacted and pushed the price higher closing at this level by the end of the trading day so of course this is a bearish signal because we have a red candle but this is also a signal that buyers are still on the market so I wouldn't consider this candle enough as well to open a short position then if we analyze this candle after that it is a just a small candle it is also bullish so we are not going to open a short position on a bullish candle like this and then we have another strong candle a strong bearish candle here that is pushing the price down I think that after this other confirmation that sellers are on the market I think that we have enough elements to decide to open a short position so what I will do here is to structure my short position like this so this will be very, very easy if you uh, had a look at my candlestick course, but especially if you had a look at the swing, uh, the swing trading course, because stop loss and take profit is, uh, are two concepts that I really want to focus on every core in every course that I have, because I strongly believe that stop loss and take profits should be considered as part of the entire strategy. You can't just analyze the market, but to not knowing where to place a stop loss and take profit. In this case, this is a down channel. So I believe that this is a, one of the easiest situations on the market to place stop loss and take profit. Stop loss should be just above the channel. So we are here. I think that's at 0, 60, uh, 76, 80. So around here is enough, just slightly less than that. Okay, 81 is enough. So if the price is going up, it needs to break the channel and then we have the stop loss here. So it makes sense. And regarding the take profits, uh, we want to place it at the bottom of this channel. So around here, I think 0.7350 is okay. So if the price is continuing to go down, it will go to the bottom of this down channel and it will hit our take profit. So in this case, we would have a risk 
this to reward ratio that is better than 1 to 2, just slightly better than that, and uh, it would have been a very nice trade with the price going down, hitting the take profit here. It, it, won't, it, it was going even a bit lower than that, but uh, the, the trade was uh, <laughs> structured like that, and uh, I would have been very happy about a trade like that. Just want to cancel this for a second because I want to analyze this candle here because we open our trade here but then we have this candle that is a doji. Is this a good signal for us? No, it is not a good signal for us because if you remember doji expresses indecision on the market. So here we are uh, on the market with a short position because obviously we think that sellers are in control. So we want to see another signal that sellers are pushing the price down. We don't want to see any signal that there is indecision on the market. So this is not a good confirmation after this candle here, but after this we have a super strong candle pushing the price down, and this is one of the best confirmations we can have. Uh, we can ever have. This is a bull, a bearish marbozo, and you can see that after this candle we have a market that is totally dominated by sellers with another super good candle another one here another one here pushing the price down so the market was totally bearish by that time so going on we have a reaction by buyers here i wouldn't say that buyers here are pushing the price higher to the top of the of the channel because i think that this is a congestion phase the price is more lateral than uh, going up so i think that this is another channel within this down channel we could highlight this with a rectangle this is a typical congestion phase on the market here and if we study the action here we have two um we have two way uh, two ways to trade this uh, this um, channel within the major channel that is a down channel here so we have a congestion phase uh, the first thing that uh, we will do uh, in this case is to trade a breakout here but you can see that if we trade a breakout so with a position just below it we are in the middle of the major channel the down channel and uh, we will have some difficulties to have a good risk to reward ratio so once again I would recognize that uh, here we are in a kind of range with the price that is just going up and down I will wait for a signal uh, with uh, sellers stepping into the markets but I will wait once again for this signal when the price is around this down channel here this downtrend line here so uh, in the upper part of the down channel and we have a very good reaction on the market here with the price that is very close to the top of the down channel and here you can recognize this pattern because it's one of the most popular ones it is is a bearish engulfing pattern with also a kind of marbles with just the upper shadow but you see that we don't have any lower shadow here so this is a very good signal and this time I think this is enough to open a short position because we uh, have this strong action very close to the top of the channel the action is super strong it's not like the the one that we have analyzed before with the first candle here we also have a very popular uh, pattern a candlestick pattern that uh, you can recognize the bearish engulfing pattern so this is enough to open a short position and let me structure it like this with a stop loss that once again is very very easy to place so 0 0.7480 around here so just above this channel here and take profits at the bottom of it so around 0 0.71 I will say 71.50 around here Okay, so at the bottom of the channel, and so you can see that here we have a reaction by buyers on the market before hitting the take profit here. And to be honest, I have to say that after this candle that is a kind of hammer, well, this is a kind of doji uh, on the market, this is a dragonfly doji, and um, I will say that after this candle, I will think twice uh, before keeping my position on the market, and I will wait 
for the next action on the market. Next action is confirming that there is a very intense battle between buyers and sellers where buyers I think are slightly in control in this phase of the market. So probably after this candle I will take my profits manually without waiting for the take profit here and uh, it would have been a super good decision because you can see that okay after this candle I was right the price is going up but just for free trading sessions and then it's going down again hitting the previous take profit that we had planned here so probably not the best action but uh, of course you can't perform every time the best action on the market and uh, uh, if you see that there is a sign that the market is changing i think that it is fair to change your mind and say okay i think that the market scenario here is changed i will take my profits before the take profits and of course this is a kind of uh, concept that uh, can lead to several mistakes because many times you are just afraid of nothing on the market of something that doesn't exist and uh, sometimes you say okay the price is quite close to the take profits maybe there's time to take my profits before the market changes direction this is not the way to go you should take your profits manually only when you see a very strong reason to do that and I think that this pattern here with a confirmation of buyers on the market is a strong reason to tr to take your profits before the take profits anyway I want to delete this position here and go on to analyze once again what happens on the market Market. we have another super super good signal on the market I'm very happy to see something like that we have a shooting star with the upper shadow that is right on this down channel here so this is a very powerful signal that can be traded right away because here you can see sellers are immediately pushing the price down with a very strong upper shadow here so this shooting star is super super good as a signal in this moment it is it also happens at the top of this channel so let me structure once again a possible position here with the 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 entry uh, right after this uh, this uh, candlestick pattern with uh, the stop loss that can be placed above the the channel so a uh, around uh, 0 73 35 should be enough let me do it okay and regarding the take profits i will place it i will place it uh, at the bottom of this channel so around 0 69 and 90 around here with a risk to reward ratio that is just amazing 1 to 3.53 so super good risk to reward ratio let's see what happens on the market the price is going down we also have this super good candle that is confirming that the price is going down the price continues to go down until it enters an area around here but to be honest I wouldn't take my profits manually here because okay we have a green candle here but uh, it is just a small reaction by buyers after such a strong action by sellers so of course in my opinion this is not enough to take your profits and even after this other green candle in my opinion you don't have any reason to be scared and take your profits i will still keep my positions without thinking twice about that then we have another good confirmation that sellers are on the market but after this candle here after this bearish candle here we have a bullish engulfing pattern this one is quite strong because this candle is also almost a marbozo it has very small shadows and a very a big real body so I think that after this candle here I will start to say okay now I'm convinced that buyers are on the market I want to take my profits manually without waiting for the take profit here and so even if you don't do it here you see that you have a small action on the market you have another confirmation that buyers are on the market with this hammer here you can see the sellers are trying to push the price down here but 
but buyers react and push the price up forming this hammer here so I think that if you don't want to take your profits manually here after this hammer you have a second chance to say okay I think that I was uh, quite ambitious when I placed my take profit here it is time to recognize that here it is a good level for buyers to uh, open their buying positions and if you have a look at that closer you can see that there is also kind of support more or less at the same level we had this bullish engulfing pattern here we have this hammer here so this support just confirms that around this level buyers are reacting here with this candlestick pattern here with this other candlestick pattern so this is a level where you want to take your profits because you don't really want to go against this level that already proved to be very strong on the market let me remove this position and go through last a touch of this uh, uptrend uh, of this uh, downtrend line with the top part of the channel here and we have after this hammer here you can see that we have almost a kind of tennis match with sellers that are pushing the price down here then buyers are reacting sellers again in control and then buyers definitely pushing the price higher to the top of this channel and breaking this channel here now after this strong action we have this candle here that is another shooting star is it is it as good as this one that we have analyzed here no of course it's not as good as that one first of all because we already had a breakout of this down channel so this is above this uh, the level that we were studying so this level is not working anymore apparently and uh, a second reason is that this shooting star appears after a super strong action in just one trading session in just one day by buyers so this is a reaction by sellers but it is not enough to go against the super strong action that we just had the day before that so I wouldn't consider this as a uh, candlestick pattern that you should trade on the market so you can also see uh, how um, how big is the difference between the same candlestick pattern we have a shooting star here a shooting star here but the analysis of the market is completely different so that's why I uh, try to say in the candlestick uh, pattern course that uh, you should always analyze the markets with candlesticks you can't say every time okay we have a shooting star so we should sell it doesn't work like that you should always analyze what is happening on the market what happens also before the formation of a candlestick pattern and then see if it is the right time to enter your position okay so that was a very nice lesson that australian dollar us dollar taught us uh, during the 2018 on the daily chart i hope that you appreciated this video i think that it is a um, a very important video that you should study even more than once if you are serious about uh, trading with candlestick patterns and key levels and chart patterns i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and and I will see you very soon. Thank you very much.